Nakaroko no Basket is a show composed of many different players with elite skill sets. With each player having unreal skill sets and being extremely dominant in their own right, I found myself naturally ranking each of the players in Kuroko no Basket. But there's only one issue with ranking Kuroko no Basket players. In the show, a player's success in the show kind of reflected how good their team was. I mean, you can easily argue if Kize had a better team, he would have easily had more wins against other top players. But with that being said, I decided to rank Kuroko no Basket players purely off their individual skill set, their ability to lead their teams, and of course, how well they did matching up against other top talents one on one. Coming in at the 10th spot, we have none other than Makoto Hanamiya. Now if you look past Hanamiya being one of, if not the dirtiest player in KMB, you would actually be amazed at how much skill he possesses. Hanamiya is one of the most strategic players in the show. He has a knack for looking for other ways to get an upper hand against his opponent. Even though his tactics may be dirty and foul, it's always done in a way that could drastically help his team win games. This could be backed by just how smart of a player he is on the court. With having a 160 IQ, he's able to understand the game of basketball on an insane level. Many even refer to Hanami as a genius on the court due to his decision making. His basketball IQ is mainly the reason why he's able to come close to beating top teams like Siren. But besides his IQ, Hanami's skill sets consists of his ability to steal the ball and also make consistent teardrop shots over his opponents. But coming in at the 9 spot, we have another uncrowned king member, Kiyoshi. Now one of the main reasons for having Kiyoshi at the 9 spot is purely because of his will and resilience while playing. He's proven himself to be one of the most mentally tough players in the show, and he's proved this by playing while being somewhat crippled. But his resilience isn't the only reason why he's at the 9 spot. Kiyoshi is a player who is pretty much good at every aspect of hooping. With having pretty large hands, he's able to hold his own on both offense and defense. One skill that clearly puts him as a top 10 player in the show is his vice claw. He's able to pretty much grab the ball with one hand while it's in the air, allowing him the ability to rack up boards and even blocks. Now for the 8 spot, it goes to none other than Heiseki. Heiseki, much like Makoto, is known for being a pretty dirty player. With being one of the former teammates of some of the guys in the generation of miracles, it's safe to say that his skill set is on par with some of the best players in the series. His main ability is the ability to literally steal other players' moves and make it his own, taking away their ability to perform their own moves. Now if you ask me, this ability is one of the most OP abilities in the show. He was also able to lead a pretty solid Fukuda Soto squad, and if we're looking at his matchup against Kize, he was able to do more than hold his own during that matchup. The reason why he's not higher up on this list is because his ability is limited to only players he's on par with or better than, meaning he can't copy any of the Generation of Miracles abilities or moves. At the 7th spot, we have none other than Tatsuya Himuro. Himuro is also a player who is said to be able to compete with the Generation of Miracles. His skill level is said to be almost on par with the other members. His game can be said to be extremely polished as well, especially with his ability to pump fake players almost every time. His pump fakes are so lethal that it's said to be on the same level as NBA players. He's a shooting guard at Yozin, who's proven he can score pretty much at will. And he's proved this by his countless battles against tough opponents like Kagami. Due to his amazing reflexes, agility, and advanced scoring abilities and handles, it's hard for me not to put Himuro at the 7th spot. For the 6th spot, we have none other than the sharpshooter, Midorima. Now with easily being the best shooter in the show, it's hard not to give a top 10 spot to the Generation of Miracles 3 point specialty. Midorima is a player who specializes in long range 3s, and I'm not talking about past half court shots. This man is liable to launch a full court shot and sink it like it's nothing. Whether it's a contested shot or an uncontested shot, Midorima has shown in the show that he can knock down literally anything. But I'd be lying if I said he's only high up on this list for his shot. Midorima possesses good height and speed, which allows him to defend at a pretty high level. We've seen that he can pretty much hold his own against any player in the show, but the reason he isn't higher up on this list is due to the fact that, unlike the rest of the players ahead of him, we haven't seen him set up his own shot much. Now for the first player in the top 5, we have none other than Murasaki Bara. With being one of the most naturally gifted players in the show, Murasaki Bara is pretty much able to dominate almost any opponent without fully even trying. His skill set consists of his ability to body his defenders, score pretty easily around the rim, and be a defensive nightmare when he's serious. In my opinion, Murasaki Bara fits the 5 spot strictly due to the fact that he's easily one of the most unstoppable forces in the show, especially when he's in the zone. I believe that if he played a little bit more serious, he could easily be higher on this list. 4th rank, we have none other than Kize. Kize has easily the most overpowered ability in the show. With his ability to literally copy any player's move, no matter how difficult it is, 
is only one of the reasons why he's earned his fourth spot. But not only that, Kize is a basketball prodigy who picked up the sport later than everyone else. Meaning as far as his potential goes, he can easily become the best player in the show. Another thing that makes him such a hack is that he's able to combine other players' moves and use them. His ability lets him copy other abilities, such as Midorima's full court shot. And as far as one-on-one -on -one matchups go, the better the player, the better Kize plays due to his ability. He was also able to carry an okay Kaijo team against many tough opponents in the show. Her rank, we have none other than Taika Kagami. Out of all the other characters in the show, Kagami is easily the most athletic player in Kuroko no Basuki. His speed, agility, and hops in the show is unmatched. Other than his athletic ability, Kagami also possesses a ton of skill as well. Throughout the show, we've seen Kagami go from a player that relied on his athletic gifts to a player who has a ton of skill. He's the only member outside of the generation of miracles that evenly rivals them and he's proven this by beating literally all of them in their matchup against each other. His ability to lock in and enter the zone is also another reason why he's under top 3 spot. The reason he's not higher on this list, despite being all the generation of miracles, is because he did have one of the best supporting cast around him. With the second spot, we have Daki Omine. Now ever since Omine was first introduced in the show, he's been regarded as one of the best players. Omine's skill sets mainly rely on his insane agility and speed, which makes stuff like his handles and finishing ability extremely elite. He's able to adapt to any situation and pretty easily get a bucket at will. Not only is his offense one of the best, but his defense is also top tier as well. Part of what makes Omine a problem is that his moves are unpredictable. But the main reason why he's ranked number 2 is because, when he enters the zone, he's essentially one of the hardest players to guard. Omine is a player who solely relies on his skill only to win and dominate, so due to his selfish play, I couldn't really give him the one spot. Now before I move on to announcing the best player in the show, I feel like it's important to name some of the characters who had a chance to crack the list, but just wasn't good enough. Players like Kuriko, Mibuchi, and Takao were players who I believe could have cracked the top 10 list. But last but not least, the number one spot goes to none other than Akashi. With being the former captain of the Generation of Miracles, it's easy to see why Akashi deserves the title of the best player in the show. He possesses skills that any elite point guard needs to be successful. His handles are easily the best in the show, due to the fact that he pretty much is able to break his opponent's ankles at will. But one skill that separates him from the rest of the guys on the list is his Emperor's Eye. This ability allows him to predict his opponent's movements. Besides his skill, another thing that separates him from the rest of the guys is his insane basketball IQ. And let's not even talk about his ability to enter the zone at will. He's proven to be one of the most competitive players in the show. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. Comment down all the players you think is in the top 10 in Kuroko no Basuki. And if you haven't, please follow the IG and TikTok. Thank you for watching.